one, so I think this is going to be week three and week four combined uh, for an update. Uh, things are going great, things are going well. Um, it's really been a time of collecting ideas. Uh, I've been working on uh, these songs for years, so some of them are really new, you know, in the last month or so, and others date back uh, several years. And um, it's not like brushing off you know something that wasn't good um, you know I just needed time to focus and I really appreciate what I call the incubation period you know things just take some time and so it's been great reliving uh, and reviving some songs and uh, just remembering why I kind of love that song in the first place and, and getting those together um, some of these songs have been you know around for a few years and not quite finished and uh, some are you know just came to me in the last month and now kind of having some focus and having a reason to record um, has been really great and I'm loving it um, also uh, some good news this week just yesterday I got my vaccine so I'm really happy to uh, get that and that's a, a big relief and I uh, hope and encourage all of you when it's your time that you you uh, do the same thing it was painless it was easy that was great. And I feel really relieved. It's kind of like a weight lifted off my shoulders. And I know realistically it's not like a magic pill that like all of a sudden, you know, I don't have to worry about those things. But it, it did, you know, cause a lot of anxiety to kind of um, been lifted a bit. So when it's your turn, uh, make sure that you go to something non-music related that I've had so much fun doing the last couple of weeks is with the full moon uh, out and... Um, with the northern lights. Uh, I love taking videos and I love taking photography and uh, that's always been something that's been really hard for me to shoot to film properly. Uh, you know everybody you know that's an amateur photographer like me before has had the same problem it looks like this big blurry light and so um, the last couple weeks I've gone out of town just outside of uh, uh, Regina to film the moon and just like was amazed with how beautiful it was. Uh, I'm a city kid and so um, there's only been a handful of times where I've actually like had an appreciation for the stars by being far outside the city, far outside the light pollution and it was incredible. Uh, the moon was so beautiful and I got some great shots that I'll share right now that you can check out and uh, just so fun to uh, look at the stars and um, makes me dream and I think it's really good for creativity because it's a good reminder about uh, you know we're a small part of the universe but we are part of the universe and uh, those fun times this weekend was just a beautiful reminder of that. I've been on a real ABBA kick lately and I was watching an interview with Bjorn and he was talking about how when they created their songs they would work out the rhythm track first. So what the rhythm track is, is that's like the instrumental track, right? So they would leave the lead vocals for very last. And um, that's a little backwards from how I do it. Like usually how I do it is I do like uh, a guide vocal and acoustic guitar just to kind of get the feel and then I'll layer from there. Um, but I wanted to try that approach and it's been kind of fun. So um, what I've been using lately to record is a program called Luna, which is from Universal Audio, and um, it's an example of a DAW. So a DAW is a digital audio workstation, and there's DAWs out there like the kind of the industry standard one is Pro Tools, there's Logic, Cubase, all sorts of great ones, GarageBand. Um, you can even do some great recording on your phone with just using GarageBand. Um, but I like this because while it might not be as fully featured as that, for my kind of process and my workflow, it works really, really well. Um, in the past, um, let's say I would record something and I wanted to change the tempo. Well, then I would have to start all over, all over again. Uh, whereas with this one, I don't know what, how technology it has it, but it can really easily uh, change the tempo of real-time instruments. So, like an acoustic guitar or anything like that. Um, so it's kind of fun to work in. So uh, tonight I've been working on. Um, you know, just start to work on a song uh, that I've had for a while and uh, I'll just kind of show you how I approached it. Okay, so I'm just getting started in this one and uh, what I've been kind of doing just to kind of inspire me rather than just going to click is uh, getting a groove. So um, I, I've been using for uh, this stuff um, addictive drums and it sounds great and um, 
in Logic, I love using the drummer in Logic just to kind of get inspired. Uh, and then finding some beats. And uh, the intention is that I'll eventually replace it. Uh, but what's cool is that, you know, just finding some beats uh, to have. So say, for example, if I went with something like this, you know, I can try them. You know, and I had a certain uh, feel in mind for this, almost like the train trying to drum. So I found something that worked really well, and I'll play that so you can hear what it sounds like. Yeah, so that's exactly the sort of feel that I'm going. And then um, I put down the uh, piano part next with this, so I'll let you hear uh, what those two sound like. Right, so it's, uh, and that's a pretty fast tempo too with, with this uh, one, but that's kind of how I start and then I'll go from there. So I might add like an acoustic guitar part, bass part, and again, trying that ABBA model, I'm going to try doing most all the backing uh, track. Okay, so here's a good example one. So this is a pretty fully formed uh, backing track on here. I'm just trying to remember what I did. So uh, I've got a piano on there, acoustic guitar, bass, some synthesizers so we can start to hear how it all comes together. Right, so it's it's cool because it allows me to record quickly and you can see already there's quite a bit going on. And I'm thinking in terms of arrangement, how I put this, how all the pieces work together. Uh, but I really like this idea of that ABBA model of working on the backing track first. Because normally I would have done acoustic guitar and uh, vocal and layered it. But kind of uh, Bjorn's um, rationale, why did they did that with every track, is they want the singer to really be excited about it. So when they sing along with it, that they're uh, hearing all this stuff. Something I hear from a lot of people is that they want to be creative, they want to write music, they want to write songs. But it's that first uh, step, they're afraid to take the first step. So say for example, it might be, well, I need a new computer, or my gear's not this, or I need to get an expensive microphone. And I really think you can create just about anything uh, with almost nothing, you know. Um, I did a project last year for at Creative Station on Instagram, and it was... Um, Creative music sessions with Ryan, and for 90% of the um, the series, I didn't touch an instrument. Uh, I used only my phone, and it was a really good lesson because this is where I'm comfortable. This is what I, uh, you know, when I sit down to work, this is how I work. But it just showed that you know, with a different tool. Um, it doesn't replace creativity. It's a creative tool, right? So um, I don't think people should get too hung up on gear. You know, I can't start writing songs or I can't make, you know, anything creative until I get whatever it is, you know, whether you're a painter or this or that. Um, use what you have. A really good example of that would be Phineas and Billie Eilish. Um, you know, I love their music and looking at how they create their stuff behind the scenes. They're working in their bedroom, uh, of Phineas's bedroom in their their uh, home that they grew up in, he's just using Logic and he's using you no know, really simple stuff, but just using Logic and the plugins within Logic and uh, you know a fairly inexpensive microphone. Um, you know they got amazing results. You know Grammys even right, and so what's cool is that he would be like at his computer working, and literally Billy would be like five feet away sitting on the bed with the microphone really close. Uh, and just using that stuff. I know, I'm sure Phineas has, you know, graduated to more gear and stuff like that, but it's all those, those big hits uh, that they had over the last few years was just simply done using a computer that everybody else has, using the same plugins that everybody else has, but just because you have those same tools, that doesn't mean you're Billie Eilish or that you're Phineas, right? But it's a great lesson in um, you know, using what you have and, you know, even with really simple tools, you can get results because it's not about the gear, it's about the ideas and music is all about ideas.